mesh select modifier here I have a box and my goal is to access my sub object levels without converting this thing to an edible mesh so I just have a plain old box here so I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna to go to my modifier tab of my command panel in the modifier list I'm gonna to go to mesh select if I hit the plus sign, this modifier is being applied to this box. I can get to the vertexes. I can come over here and select some vertexes and apply things to those vertexes. I could apply things to the edge. I could apply things to the face. I'm just going to hold my control key down and apply to certain faces here. I could apply to the polygons, etc. Now, once I have selected these things, I can go up and add in another uh, modifier and I'm going to go down the face extrude. In my face extrude, I'm going to put a value in my parameter. I'm going to put a value of 5. And you can see now it extruded those faces even though this is not an editable mesh. So at this point then, all I want to do is is to, um, oops, I want to go back to the face, sorry. And I want to go back to my extrude, and I got an answer of 5, right? And I just want to click outside of that, and there I have my object. I click on my object in the future, there is my box. Oops, sorry. There is my box, and in my box I have uh, two modifiers in a stack. I have my mesh select and my face extrude. And if I want to ever come in and change it, I can modify these things at any time. It makes this very powerful. And right now, I still do not have an editable mesh. I just have a box. This is my box 01. So these modifiers are very powerful. And the mesh select modifier is used to access those sub-object levels without, the key is without converting it to an edible mesh.